uh, aspect of uh, technology uh, rather uh, amalgamation of technology into teaching uh, i would like to begin with the quote that uh, no technology can ever replace the teachers but definitely it will enhance the teaching methodology of the teachers this is what we are going to glance through uh, today's uh, this particular presentation i'm going to um, uh, glance through several uh, platforms which are included uh, this ict tools and then i'll uh, take you to the tour of uh, certain platforms also i have kept some uh, uh, platforms open for you so you can glance through how these actually work in reality um day by day things are getting challenging um we had a very crucial time of uh, pandemic when uh, suddenly the education system had uh, uh, changed to 360 degrees overnight everything changed people uh, many uh, teachers were untrained for uh, technology they faced lot of difficulties those who were living in cities they were little bit of familiar to the various technological tools but not definitely uh, on a very larger scale but at least coping with that was little bit easy for them rather than uh, it become very challenging to incorporate traditional teaching which for which we had been being trained for from a long time and um, incorporating that traditional teaching into a very modern uh, lookout of teaching altogether so that was a very difficult scenario but since then as we have seen how technology came for our rescue in that particular scenario and had been served as a boon to make our teaching and learning effective interesting and successful since then ict has been an integral part of teaching and learning altogether at the same time the nep 2020 also recommends the blended learning approach which includes the uh, nep also has given uh, importance on a very large scale to the ict blending of ict tools in the teaching so ict tools practically helps you out to blend your traditional teaching with the modern look out altogether for making your teaching interesting effective and easy also at times now let us first understand what is ict information and communication technology ict stands for there is a wide range of technology that facilitate uh, those come under ict and uh, they facilitate the management processing and communication of information on computer software websites hardware mobile applications and other digital devices such as cloud computing services and internet of things iot devices now why we use this ict for various purposes purposes like presentations question paper setting assessments planning record keeping and so on so there are multiple purposes for which this icd tools can be a boon for the teachers especially to make their classes interesting and make their work also very efficient and easy so let us start glancing through one by one there is icd tools i have intentionally started with something that is very familiar to us during pandemic most of us worked on google teams right ms teams mostly and uh, google classrooms where uh, you get an opportunity uh, to create your own classroom there for various purposes it is a free platform made by google for uh, teachers all together uh, so a teacher can create distribute and grade the assignments digitally on the classroom so there are various uh, sections where teacher can uh, enroll students make various sections sub sections for various assignments for example single teacher is teaching multiple subject per subject itself she can make different classrooms for her with the number of students enrolled there and she can uh, announce the assignments there so students can also submit their assignments there which at leisure teacher can later on assess it out if there are some scrutinies in the assignment teacher can give remarks also there you can even grade the assignments digitally there on the google google classroom platform this is very easy rather and very handy it is very eco friendly also because it saves your carbon uh, emission also at the same time no printouts are needed at the same time authentic work can also be judged so you can even easily connect out the submitted assignments to the plagiarism check also at the same time it is a great resource where you can provide a 
good feedback to the students so you can also give an opportunity for them to recorrect their work and submit it again at the same time if the students do have some uh, doubts then it sometimes gets very difficult to find out where is a teacher or connect back to the teacher because we are mostly engaged in multiple tasks or our uh, other sessions engagements with other classrooms so it becomes uh, difficult for the student also uh, to connect back to the teacher and then what happens usually they then uh, send us messages on whatsapp or do give us a call and that becomes a little disturbing to our uh, regular routines also so if you give a dedicated platform like google classroom where students can even connect back to you sending their queries where you can answer their uh, you know uh, queries at the same time if the queries are related to the assignment submitted then it will be very easy for you also to assess give correct feedback and uh, and a whole some understanding on the part of student also so this particular classroom uh, google classroom platform is highly useful please remember though pandemic is over now though we are back to our normal and um, uh, we are no more into our new normal that is digital teaching but the blend of digital teaching is must to ease your tasks you can create various google classroom where students can submit their assignments as it is a, an authentic source some universities for example in my university we also have a similar kind of app like google classroom that is known as bolp and uh, on that platform also we can uh, take various test of students where we can uh, put various mcqs questionnaire we can announce various uh, assessments we can announce various topics where students have to uh, enroll themselves and then uh, they have to give the test within the set period of time so you can even set various time zones also time period for example 30 minute test or 45 minutes test at the same time grading also becomes easy because if it can be cbt computer based test also so automatic grades will also be conveyed to you and if you allow then students may also know that so there will not be any kind of you know mistake that will happen from your side at the same time your a major burden of uh, uh, will also be subsided by the computer checking itself so this kind of uh, testing is recommended for a large number of students where you have to deal with the uh, n number of students for a single small assignments like for mcq for example for 15 marks 20 marks or so so and uh, where your descriptions are not much uh, needed at that time you can rely on google questionnaire or uh, mcq q type of test and you can use such platforms like google classroom or erp or uh, any other platform that is recommended by uh, your university so this is one set here comes another interesting uh, platform that is named kahoot uh, some of you may uh, know this platform so uh, this is a platform for rather a game based learning uh, to create a kind of interest in the students uh, so a teacher can create various puzzles can also uh, conduct discussions and surveys there so the puzzles like for example this is very simple interesting puzzle that is uh, visible on the right side that is uh, the word dinosaur means so here are four options given and out of that student have to check understand this is very basic level of uh, puzzle that i have been showing you out uh, especially for the school going children but according to the level of the children you can create difficult level of puzzles for all kind of subjects like science maths and languages so uh, this is another website which is highly useful you can even uh, uh, refer that uh, edmodo is an educational technology company offering a communication collaboration and coaching platform especially for k12 uh, schools and teachers uh, k12 is a uh, basically a kind of standard um, setup uh, in uh, us and uk countries so which is for even advanced uh, learners also Uh, so this is useful from school going to advanced uh, level of students. Unfortunately, you have to enroll. I mean, sign up in all kind of uh, these apps. I open some tabs for you at the end of the session. I'll show you about that. So uh, let's say this particular uh, provide a secure environment for teachers, students, and parents to connect and collaborate. So even parents can also get involved in seeing the progress of the students at the same time in seeing what is uh, going in particular classroom. so um how can you use this out so you have to just create various classes then uh, uh, post the assignments quizzes or polls and students can access the resources submit assignments 
and interact with the other classmates and the teachers also. That is a benefit of Edmodo. This is another very interesting um, uh, platform that we have, ICD tool we have, that is known as Padlet. Understand, um, there are a lot of teachers who are actually already start, have started using Padlet for various successful um, completion of assignment and teachings also. So this is a virtual kind of bulletin board where students and teachers can collaborate together, reflect and share links and pictures in a very secure location. How can you use it out? So you have to create a Padlet board that is visible on your uh, right side, customize it according to your need, and share it with the students. So students can post their responses, ideas, projects directly on the board. So here are some options uh, available under the Padlet, like uh, various activities you can create. You can give the name to the activities also, like bell ringer activity, uh, predicting activity, collaborative note taking, for example, uh, for example, event planning. So understand not only for teaching, but also for your time management, for your event management also, you can use this platform. You can use this platform for your personal uh, usage as well as your professional uses. Even between the teachers, if you are um, planning for a meeting or planning for a big event in the university, then you can create your own Padlet where you can enroll teacher volunteers at the same time student volunteers and assign the task accordingly and under the event planning you can keep the feed uh, take the feedback of the progress or the status of completion of the certain so in this way there are various uh, reasons for which you can uh, use padlet uh, another interesting uh, factor of padlet is post a presentation so students can do a presentation or submit their assignments also on Padlet and it becomes easy for the teachers also to assess the assignments. So in this way, there are multiple uses for which you can use this tool to create and make your teaching interesting. So definitely for one of the units, you can definitely plan this tool for your teaching. Now, this is very interesting um, uh, tool that I have come across and I personally have tried it out. I also have opened a tab for this. Uh, so this is Flipgrid. So Flipgrid is actually a video discussion platform where students can record their videos and submit it out there. So other students can also uh, listen them, watch their videos, and they can also comment back in the form of video or in the form of text itself. How to use this? So teacher can create a topic for discussion, especially uh, this platform is useful for engaging in collaborative activity in urban students debate or um, kind of group discussion uh, sessions so let's say a teacher can create a topic or a question a student have to respond in the form of a video so if you uh, think from the ugc NAC criteria perspective also this kind of assignments are very creative engaging and at the same time you are also making a blend of technology in your teaching especially in your assessment so these kind of submissions are highly recommended are and are counted by the NAC committee also. So uh, and the, the good part is these are very short videos which students can post it out. So uh, this is very interesting platform. You can check it out. And recording a video is very easy. I'll show you a demo also here. Then uh, Nearpod. Uh, this is another very interesting uh, platform, uh, ICT tool that we have. So uh, this is for the interactive classroom tool. Understand, besides our teaching in the classroom, we have to engage ourselves for teaching with our students for on multiple domains and other times also. For example, we are constantly giving lessons, taking submissions, doing assessments, giving feedback, doing some collaborative activity for the wholesome kind of learning, especially in NEP. 2020, it is recommended that students should get hands-on training of all the subjects. So they should not rely only on the theoretical knowledge, but also they should be able to be able to have the critical thinking, analytical thinking, and have the ability to apply that knowledge in reality. So this particular platform is for the real-time check. So uh, for the interactive sessions, assessments, and collaborative activity, this can be used. And uh, teachers can create interactive presentations, quizzes, polls, collaborative boards, where students can join the session with the board and can interact uh, the content in the real time. So they can interact with each other on uh, various uh, uh, points. 
for example some uh, either uh, uh, either this kind of thing uh, like uh, um, independence day or uh, you know uh, celebration of any event or a summer school or promotion of some event or uh, some kind of open talk these kind of things can be used under this uh, near pod as a topic for the discussion and the students can give interactive presentations here this is very interesting platform which you can use as again a part of assessment for understanding those are kind of um, uh, small assessment formative assessments we take during our teachings so let's say you have finished teaching one unit and you have to check the understanding level of the students so similar to the kahoot this quiz quizzes is the platform where you can create a quiz based on your subject and you can give this link of the quiz to your students and set the timer so within that timeline students can solve the quiz and uh, you will get the grades also so you will understand if the students have understood it correctly or not at the same time for teaching some unit also you can use this quizzes for teaching certain unit also for example teachers can create quiz or use existing one then share a game code to the students and student can join the quiz and answer questions at their own pace with results and leaderboards displayed at the end so students can also check what is the progress of other students those who score high they will go up on the leaderboard and those who have not finished yet will go down in the on the leaderboard altogether so understand though it seems sometimes by its picture to be childish or only for the school going it's not a fact you have to start incorporating this kind of activities especially for the higher grade students because nowadays screen time is very high of the students so better you have to uh, if you want to really uh, minimize that engage them into the studies then these kind of gamifications are highly important understand gamification is not only always for the entertainment but it is also for education so these kind of platforms icd tools are rather giving us opportunity to utilize this creativity entertainment into converting into the education and learning ultimately then um, uh, there are some really interesting platforms lot of platforms rather for teachers where they can make question papers for example exam view test generator generator or ad hoc captive captivate uh, you all have to just uh, sign in to all these uh, uh, sign up to all these platforms only then you can create your test there are also some platforms where you can simply add your syllabus and the whole question paper comes out you just have to tell them what are your requirements long answer question short answer question mcqs or uh, how many marks how are you going to grade at the same time do you want question paper with the model answers then you can uh, drop that also uh, kind of uh, re uh, requisitions from your side and they will come out uh, you will get various kind of question papers there see this is actually saving your energy for example for uh, due to certain rules uh, let's say uh, you have to set three four question papers or five set of question paper just for single subject and you might be teaching another five subject or seven subjects then it becomes very difficult for you to uh, uh, set around 30 to 35 papers each so this is a easy platform where you can just simply this might be five question papers only for one uh, test another let's say you have four tests according to the credits those so that again number doubles or multiplies so these kind of platforms are really really okay to take help of but ultimately for example uh, once you get the test paper you have to just scrutinize whole test paper and check it out if it meets your requirement if the questions are formed in a correct way grammatically also because ultimately these all are ai tools they may the ai may have some different kind of understanding the way you give instructions matters a lot if your instructions go wrong then wrong kind of inputs uh, outputs will be there if your input is wrong so you have to make sure that you reread everything that is given by the ai and then finalize on your own so definitely your contribution is highly recommended at the same time always make sure to integrate the technology in your teaching by incorporating uh, some technical tools like ppt presentation let's say 
for making your ppt presentation don't rely just on the ppt uh, or ms office uh, on your computer go for some advanced uh, versions like canva crazy which are giving you very you know vibrant themes on a, in a, a, on a very wide range where you can bring some creativity to your ppts also at the same time it is also going to help you out to make more impact on your students at the same time add some animations i have intentionally not added animation here because our topic was very different so but uh, in your classes if you need you can definitely add animations and make your talk more interesting um so these are some and see this is a very wide topic very difficult to be covered in a very short period of time and as ai is growing day by day there are n number of tools which are coming out especially let's say chat gpt is also another ict tool that we can incorporate here for getting for creating question papers for summarizing uh, topics or even giving some kind of uh, projects to the students chat gpt is highly helpful you can at the same time you can all a teacher can at the same time uh, a student uh, you can also recommend your students to make use of chat gpt but definitely you can't rely 100% on that because your creativity is more important your understanding is more important you can definitely take the help of it for getting more and more ideas but at this uh, ultimately you have to start with something that is your own creative and genuine so definitely you can rely on ict tools but don't rely 100% on those you have to make sure that you are you always have to remember that teachers are unbeatable their knowledge is unbeatable their teaching is unparalleled so definitely teachers role is highly important here uh, so this is another uh, platform adobe, uh, adobe spark uh, which is a suite to create uh, for creative tools that allow students and teachers easily create graphics web pages videos this is on little higher level so students can create visual story tile telling or multimedia projects also this is advanced level of project so let's say if you want to make a combination of uh, various difficulty level of the projects according to the bloom's taxonomy right so as bloom tells us that your difficulty level of the assignments and the unit also should start from foundation or simple and then it should go on upper level higher level like being moderate and then having difficult challenge so where you can channelize and challenge critical thinking creative thinking innovative thinking for that you can definitely make use of various ict tools like this peer deck is an interactive presentation tool that allows teachers to create interactive slide shows and engage students in real time through questions quizzes and discussions so you can uh, uh, create a presentation on peer peer, uh, peer deck and then um, uh, add some interactive elements such as multiple choice questions uh, drawing various activities thereafter open ended responses so students can join that presentation with the code that you give them and then participate actively as a teacher guided uh, the lesson so student can start uh, replying or giving a feedback to your questions there on the peer deck itself now this is something is very crucial for all of us being the teachers we are multitaskers we are also in admin along with our academics so definitely it's very important for us to have something which can work us work as a reminder to us a planner for us so there are a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, helpful devices which can be your uh, day planner to do list planner remind is also such a platform where uh, all student teacher and uh, parents can stay connected uh, teacher allows uh, to send messages announcements and updates to students and parents via text email and app notifications through the remind itself so um, this helps us all to stay connected and uh, it also keeps on reminding uh, give the notification of the upcoming event or the assignment so creative is another interesting uh, uh, platform which you can uh, use even on your mobile uh, phones also this is uh, useful more for teachers for the formative assessment so that allows teachers to create various formative assessments like uh, quizzes or uh, polls to uh, watch students understanding in real time 
so in order to check if they have understood and then move on to the next unit best part is this uh, particular uh, ict tool gives a wide range uh, allows a wide range of topics or subjects to use this particular platform so how to use this teachers create quizzes and activities and share a unique code with students so others can't interfere this most of these apps do work on the unique code practice so only those who have the access for example now only those all of us who had google meet link they could join others can't join this uh, particular meeting or particular session because you don't have this uh, meeting links in the same way if anyone doesn't have the code they can't join so definitely this becomes very secure zone where no unnecessary interruption will happen so uh, this uh, uh, through this device students uh, the teacher can um, create various activities where student can participate and uh, at the same time teacher can also view and analyze the responses of the students on the right side uh, you can see how uh, subjects like biology chemistry algebra geometry are available there for example under biology if you have taken one particular topic where there is topics like scientific method characteristics of life water and life and so on then the whole unit itself is displayed here in a very pictorial form very visual good visual form so it helps the students also to understand better uh, on um, uh, a very great uh, platform altogether okay um now i would like to request all of you to uh, download this app on your mobile phone in order to uh, uh, make this session interesting uh, we have time so in uh, go on google play store and uh, type forest app okay all of you i'll show you the icon how is the icon of the forest app um hold on give me a second so uh, this is how is the icon of the forest app the single leaf the first one this first picture if you can see this out so download that app and once you download that app sign up and then uh, go ahead with the uh, the instruction that i am going to give you why have i brought this here understand the screen time is getting very high and uh, at the same time uh, the attention span of students is also going very low and not only of the students the teacher is also finding it difficult to manage various um, uh, pressures stress and that is also making the teachers also to be into 100 things at a time but ultimately that leads you nowhere so if you have to lead somewhere then you need a better focus at the same time this also is a very creative way of teaching students to have eco friendly outlook sustainable outlook towards their study it is a one uh, very good initiative towards the sustainable uh, development altogether so through this app particularly <clears throat> uh once you open this app it gives you a various timers so please set the timer for 10 uh, minutes so and you can start it out 10 minutes uh so once you start this 10 minutes out for example uh, i'm opening this uh, app and showing it out so once you open this uh, app and set 10 minutes there you just have to say start okay and uh, you have to say plant once you say plant it will start automatically uh, taking some timers back and you have to stay on that app this app will keep on giving you reminders like stay focused on your task don't get diverted and so on once you leave if you leave this app uh, now what happens minute by minute this app will start making the plant grow turning into a big tree so that gives a very good feeling also making creating one big tree and you are actually giving the life to a tree but if you leave that app in the middle of it then the tree is going to wither down as it is shown in the third picture here okay and if you if that tree withers down then ultimately there is an option where uh, it is going to show how many trees you have planted so far successfully i mean how long could you focus on your task successfully without leaving this app okay and if you leave that app suddenly uh, shut it down then 
it also this forest is also going to show with the trees also and that indicates that your attention span is very low your concentration power your working patience uh, is very low so this app is highly helpful for teachers at the same time students also to enhance their more understanding on the dedication of the task minimizing the screen time because this app does not allow you to uh, you know uh, use other uh, things all together so you can better focus on app your own work at the same time this also helps you out to concentrate better so please set the timer of 10 uh, minutes and let it uh, run until we finish our uh, things here so uh, not only ict tools are helpful for uh, teachers but also for students for example, uh, students and teachers, these are some maps which are helpful for students and teachers too. For example, Class Dojo. Class Dojo is a management tool that helps teachers to build a positive classroom culture by entering, uh, encouraging students and uh, facilitating communication with uh, parents. So you can give your positive behavior cues, uh, do various announcement and send a direct message to the parents also. So this app is highly helpful uh, uh, for uh, connecting with uh, teachers, parents, and students all together. Go Guardian is another classroom management software where teachers can monitor students' devices. Okay, if students do have this app, this, and then uh, if the teacher gives a task, student can check the real-time screen usage of the students. So if the students is diverted from the task and engages into other screen then teacher can immediately get the notification of it and then the teacher can also filter inappropriate content and keep the student back on the task by giving the instructions it also blocks the distraction from various websites and send a message directly to that particular student so students have to stay focused on the task altogether classcraft is a gamification platform again that turns the whole class into an adventure where students earn points okay level up and unlock the rewards of positive behavior understand these are very uh, kind of good practices uh, especially observed in the schools but understand in the universities in the higher grades also these kind of practices are highly important to be incorporated definitely you need to give it in a different way for example let's say if you uh, make students to enroll in class craft and then uh, after completion of assignment, after after completion of certain activity, participating in class, answering questions or asking questions, if you want to motivate a positive behavior in the students, uh, boost the confidence of some student, uh, especially those who are on low confidence, you can start giving some kind of earning points there to the student. So student will feel really good when earn, the student will earn more and more points in the form of coins, let's say that is going to boost the confidence of the student giving a positive vibe about that person especially this is a kind of positive mindset creation setting a positive mindset among the students so especially for those who are slow learners who have low motivations uh, students who face uh, various anxiety issues depression or lack of uh, motivation or uh, they do have exam pressure or particular subject related special pressure to lessen their burden out or to relieve them their stress you can definitely start using this app class craft especially those who are the class teachers i recommend you to use this start using this app in order to foster the positive behavior and uh, high confidence among the students then was another thing that is net support school it is a classroom management software again uh, that enables teachers to monitor and control students devices screens and uh, uh, distribute files conduct assessments all together uh, so uh, there is screen time parental control which is useful for parents teachers as well light speed classroom management is uh, a good uh, solution for uh, monitoring screens again see i have intentionally mentioned this out which are monitoring screen again and again because if you are giving some tasks to the student on their mobile phones or, or on their uh, laptops then it is highly essential for you to monitor their screens sometimes if the class is huge it becomes difficult for you to roam around and keep watch on every student but on your device you can check out what is students doing at the right time in the real time itself so if the students also know that students uh, the teacher will know what i am doing 
student will better focus on their task this is also going to enhance their focus or concentration level and minimize their distractions this is a very important uh, thing a teacher must do at the same time it will be a blessing for a teacher also if the students are focused they are doing their tasks uh, you know, they are engaged in the task and they are completing the task before the deadline because these are some challenges that we are facing students are losing interest in the subjects they are not uh, finishing tasks in a given deadline whatever the creative things we bring in the class they are losing interest in that also so nothing is practically working but here it comes icd tools because blend of technology will always appeal because this is more appealing to the audio visual uh, senses of uh, everyone so this audio visual aids are going to give more kind of uh, um, influence and motivation to the students to study better at the same time we also have to mark here that gamification is highly important not only at the school level but also at the higher level because these students are more thrilled more motivated more excited about all these games and all so giving points earning points okay then losing points also if needed all these kind of things are going to be very helpful creating quiz all those colors pictures animations those do create a larger impact on the psychology of the learner so these are at the same time once it's done it will be easy for the teacher also to monitor at the same time it is little engaging for the teacher also to create some interesting thing rather than doing a uh, typical documentation and doing always a blackboard teaching or lecturing uh, teaching through the lecturing method these are some creative aspects going liberty for the teacher also to create something creative at the same time it is also going to lessen the burden of the teacher also um phono uh, phonics inside is also another kind of screen management kind of this okay now these are some tools i said it tools same for the tools some of the tools mentioned for the student but same for the teachers because those are more for the personal use okay now let's say mind uh, master mind master is mind ma creating mind maps for example when you uh, want to write something on certain topic or do a research paper on a topic let's say population growth in india in uh, last decade then you have to start gazing out pointers so this uh, mind maps helps you out if you put the pointer there at the same time what are the points you want to work then it's going to create a mind map for you on the basis of which you can develop your whole article later at the same time this is a very best method of giving a presentation also thereafter slack is a messaging platform designed for teams to communicate and collaborate in real time understand whatsapp is not the only platform for messaging there are multiple platforms which are better safer and engaging at the same time it is also going to save your own personal space because if you give your personal number to students and you are teaching to hundreds of students will get hundreds of messages which will disturb your major chunk of communication and you may lose important communication right so you better make separate teams on the platforms like slack and use it for the messaging asana is a project management tool that helps to organize teams keep the track record of their status of their pro progress thereafter manage their work also so especially this platform can be used by the teachers among themselves when they are together are engaged in conducting some activity or some event or some project so they can distribute their task and then collaborate together to manage their work all together thereafter to do list to do list is also the task management application similar to to do list that is going to help you out to give the list of the tasks to be executed set the reminder at the same time how you are going to execute that i basically love this uh, pomodon a lot because it is recommended definitely all of we are using a high screen time though it's a teacher or student we either are engaged on our laptops because we are working filing documenting preparing uh, presentations for the classes you know uh, or putting marks connecting to students sending emails replying to emails and many more right at the same time if not on our laptops then we are busy with our mobile phones right 
so this is highly taking your screen time and it is important for the teachers also to take care of themselves understand how to take care of themselves only then you are going to teach it to the students so this pomodon actually breaks your work into the interval of 25 minutes it sets an alarm and tells you out that it's a short break time so you can take a minute or two minutes or three minutes break and give some rest to your eyes so you can glance something that is some 12 15 feet away and uh, especially a green part uh, nearby your uh, uh, sitting location or you can glance out of window you can walk little so it will also help you out to ease the stress on your body and stress on your eyes understand this is highly important we should not overlook these important things and these breaks are very essential now uh, you may have a question like we do have six minute lectures i also do have so how to you know uh, break these intervals then so even in pomodoro uh, is given you 25 minute break intervals even during the lectures you can move from your place if you are sitting at one place then you can move around you can care take a stroll or you can sit if you are standing for a long time at the same time you can even ask students to you know uh, give some tasks to students during that phase of time and take a break and again continue with your session so these are some highly important things which are uh, ict tools are giving us opportunity to kyalo uh, edu is very interesting uh, platform that engages critical thinking collaborative discussion and debates especially so uh, thank you so much over here i'm not done yet i am going to take you out through a screen which uh, which helps you out to see various platforms i have talked about kahoot right you have to sign in and kahoot gives you various uh, opportunities for example let's say it gives you a person to create uh, uh, interesting uh, slides, PPTs. It also gives you a portion, if you can see here on the left side of it, then uh, you can create poll and uh, you can create uh, quizzes. You can create true and false questions. Thereafter, you can also drop pins, pin answers. You can own set how are you going to uh, set the answers and so on and uh, many more things. See, here I have started uh, creating a slide just for a sample here for example i uh, and you can take various kind of things like you can put here um, pictures images or even videos also for example here i have put one uh, comic video for us and i have written a question here what type of dance is it and the students have to answer here you can set a scale of minimum from 10 uh, 0 to 50 and on the right side you can even choose here what type of question is it so is it a quiz is it a true or false thereafter uh, slider or puzzle or something you have to choose it out from the right side uh, on the right side options you also have to set the timers like 10 seconds 20 seconds one minute and so on and then you have to set the answers also for example uh, here the by default answer margin is medium so in this way you can uh, do multiple checks all together and you can create your own puzzle so this is kahoot platform that gives you out uh, kind of essential uh, creations very interesting one you can even create codes and ask your students to connect back to you kahoot is a very good platform for creating codes also um, I'll show you out. So here you can create quizzes or polls. And uh, for example, see here we can get some options. I feel very confident in understanding the product. I'm not sure, need more training or I'm not confident. And then when one person sends an answer here, I can type my own question. I can change this out by replacing my own question. I can also replace my own answers here. So in this way, you can create a poll and then this uh, poll will be ultimately shown out after giving all the answers. So there are also other platforms. Even on WhatsApp, you can create poll. There is also poll.com. There are the polo.com on which you can create various polls. So these are some very easy to go, little interesting uh, platforms where you can add more information, give some description of the question that you are asking. 
along with the pictures so the reader will understand it better there is a flip platform that we have seen here i have created a classroom for myself and name of the classroom i have given is english for all okay under this i can create uh, various topics for that to those topics will be open for discussions or debate so here the topic that i have chosen is importance of english in today's world um if you do remember kaho this clip is one flip grid for recording the videos now uh, my screen is visible my topic is english language in today's world right i am going to record my video now so here i'll get various options um okay there is something uh, some technical glitch i guess okay when uh, we are discussing about ict tools we also have to understand there are what are the limitations of it again the limitations of ict tools are like you know um this is not completely reliable because it is blended technology relied on network device having a proper device and other stuff so whenever you are using it for some serious platform or a bigger platform like meetings presentations teaching make sure that you do have all kind of cross checks for example now this is not working so i'm going to create another topic okay here i can add my question uh, like english today let's say again and <clears throat> this is i have to say post topic and uh, my topic is open here for discussion okay i can send copy a link from here and uh, send it out to you all for example uh, okay i'll uh, what i'll do is i'll post it here in the chat box okay and you try joining it out so let's say i have copied this link posted it out here and my flip classroom is ready to go and then uh, i'm going to start with my video you guys can also try recording the video here and uh, post it out now this will definitely open it is not opening okay good part is this is also going me opportunity to upload my video now i understood why it is not working because my camera is already engaged uh, in our session all together that's why uh, this is not working okay so i can even upload a video here you guys can try so we can even see how many people are there uh, you can even uh, write in the chat box give responses to the video and so on so this is a very interesting pl platform especially useful for video discussions so others can also refer to those discussions for example let's say you are planning to go on a vacation or a leave and you want students to stay engaged then you can create a video instructions or video uh, uh, introduction or some kind of talk on flipgrid and uh, give the link to the students joining code to the students once students get it out they will watch your video and ask them to send a re response to that video in the form of videos itself so they can post their respective videos so later on whenever you are back you can listen them out and then you can do the assessment so this is a very interesting thing where you can also be at ease if you are busy in something for example there is a sudden last minute meeting is there and you still have to conduct your session and there is no alternative person who is available at that time you can send flip grid video for the students for assessment so these are some smart techniques thereafter uh, this is quizzing how to create quizzes so there are some ready made quizzes available or you can even create your own quizzes okay uh, uh, out of this let's say they do have a variety of quizzes available i have intentionally taken one quiz here executive okay and uh, they do have lot of options available like multiple choice questions what is a verb to be she dash a queen so uh, there are also grade points there is also a timeline set and then students have to uh, solve this out you can create the quiz for your own uh, subject if even for the higher grade students on difficulty level according to bloom's various uh, levels you can set these questions and you simply have to assign your activity to the students and do some kind of settings like this best part is you can import these quizzes to others you know parallel platforms like google classroom or you can create your own classroom here so students can get access to that 
this is another interesting platform that I have talked about, Nearport. Okay, now Nearport gives you a chance to talk on various topics. Now, let's say uh, here are some ready-made topics they have given. You can even uh, create your own topic, your own library here. For example, let's say I have, and that is based on various labels. As I told you, this is on um, K-12 model, based on K-12 model. So let's say I have chosen uh, the topic Earth, our Earth. Okay, and uh, students will get various lessons under, under those. And I can even add in my lesson and then upload it or give it to students so they can access it out later. For example, if my students are school going, then I'll better talk about this first one, that what is Earth Day and so on. If my students are, are of higher grades, then I'll go to some topics like UN Climate Report, okay, Climate Change Conference, Extreme Weather in the United States or something like that. Even I can create something of my own. So let us preview one. So you'll get an idea what I'm talking about. So let's say this uh, lesson is already planned uh, in this way. That is little on uh, higher education. So here are slides. The student can change and uh, read more about. OK, and there are some videos also in this. And these videos are also going to give uh, uh, collaborative information to the students on that particular topic. Thereafter, they can also share their thought. Here, this is a collaboration board where students together can add their own um, uh, kind of inputs. And the teachers can also add the instructions here. So these kind of interesting factors are going to make little change, bring some creativity. At the same time, it is also going to give ease to the teaching of teachers also. See, the videos are also of really good quality. And um, teachers can also access it out. It will be easy for them to make the understanding of your topic wholesome, at the same time grounded, and the very strong foundation can also be built. See, understand this is an engagement of media, information, and technology communication which is going to give more kind of interest, more kind of understanding to the students altogether, rather than them making focus only on the blackboard or looking at you with a blank face while you giving lectures or doing only PPT presentation. Just let's go beyond that. PPT is not only thing that we should use. We should rather go for multiple platforms, those I have mentioned today in today's talk, for making our teaching and learning interesting. Socrative is another platform that I have talked about on which you can create various assessments. At the same time, you can even open some discussion platforms. So this is taking us to the tour, how you are going to create various quizzes, and then uh, how you can launch your quizzes there. Uh, see, these are some you know different topics they have given. Now say, let's say I have to open some true or false questions. So here also I can uh, you know, um, create some quizzes based on my own topic. So once students do submit those questions, answers, the I will get the report card like this. For example, these are on the right, uh, left side, all the students in my class were enrolled and submitted, and the scores immediately there. At the same time, let's say there are five questions or 10 questions I have given. Which one were correct and which one were wrong? Answers given by students. The whole report is also ready in front of me. That's the best part of the Socrative. So you can use this platform also for creating your own teaching learning and making your teaching learning effective. So I hope you have understood well what do you do we mean by ICT tools and how to incorporate those. Understand the world is changing, world is dynamic. Education is dynamic, world is changing faster. We cannot stop technology. That the technology has made our life easy. Remember our uh, you know, ancestors since the barbarian period, the progress that we have made, the place where we have reached today, the reasons behind all of these is the creative human mind, 
the innovations those have happened discoveries those have led us to a better future and the technology that has made our lives easy understand technology is a two way tool it can be beneficial at the same time dangerous also as a teacher we are smart enough to handle or maintain a balance between these and making it using the best side of it making our teaching or uh, doing our teaching more effective making it creative and um, rather uh, making our teaching and learning more interesting understand ict tools are beneficial for both students and teachers is a win win opportunity for both it lessens our burden at the same time it is very help us to keep our make our teaching very systematic to the point it helps out to record or maintain the data also in place that's why these are certain reasons for which we have to make sure that ic2 tools should be incorporated in our teachings altogether at the same time not only for academics but also ict tools are helpful in managing our own personal and professional life for example creating your planner arranging your to do list at the same time arranging your own task <coughs> setting reminders especially this uh, if you have finished with uh, this uh, forest app uh, task that i have asked you to do you might have by now sowed at least one tree i am very fascinated and this is a very positive kind of app that is uh, given by us see i was talking to you right and uh, by then i have already finished sowing one more tree there planted one more tree and um, if we see this out now here is an option and i am going to see in my forest and in my forest see there are already three trees those i have planted um i have intentionally uh, tried doing this before telling you i myself wanted to check it out how this works practically so there is also one weedle tree if you can see and that's a sad part that means losing of the concentration so these kind of ict tools are really helpful for mindful practices being teachers nowadays we are under lot of stress because we are not only engaged only in academics every teacher is also an administrative so taking care of your own mental health should be your priority if you are mentally sane your mind is happy only then you are going to spread that happiness to your students if you are under stress definitely your stress is going to speak in some part either you will react or overreact to your student or you may you know uh, not focus or concentrate on your task or you may you know give less marks to the students in the assessments these are some bad practices those any, any teacher must not do so we have to make sure we are doing we are actually engaged into mindful practices some wholesome practices healthy pra holistic practices healthy practices this ict tools are going to give you a very good kind of uh, opportunity to make your teaching learning interesting at the same time balance your professional and personal life thank you so much on this note i like to open the session for discussion over to you.